Okay, so today I want to talk about the calculations for a series and a parallel circuit. So first of all we need to understand how it works. So we got a circuit here, the cable, you got one resistor here, then that resistor, that circuit splits into two, that's the parallel part. So you got R2 and R3 and then it comes back together. So again it goes this way through the resistor then it splits into two branches and then back together. I've already put the triangle here for the formulas and again if you don't know if I want to calculate voltage I go voltage equals the current times the resistance IR if I want to do current it's a voltage divided by the resistor. Or I can remember this one maybe V equals IR if I transpose it, I can then get the other formulas from that. And um, if you're not sure how to do the transposing, have a look for my video where I'll show you how to do transposing. My power formulas, I got P equals VI, voltage times the current. I got P equals the current square times the resistance. And then I got power is the voltage square divided by R. <coughs> Again, the the way I communicate it is, or the units for these for power, is always in watts. We know that resistance is in ohms, so I'll put a little symbol there. Voltage is V, and current is AA. So current is amps, V, and ohms are the resistance. Now again, I need to remember, I need to identify what is important here. Sometimes they can give you a few more bits that won't be relevant to your calculations for this, but maybe for some other calculations it might be relevant. So again, get into the habit of identifying what's important. Then the next step is I select from a range of formulas which formulas I'm going to use to do the calculation. And then the communication is bit where I put my what um, my units down. Now, this one is a little bit more tricky than the others, um, but essentially you are going to, you have a series, these two are in series, and these two are in parallel. So what I mean is, is, is these two can, we can calculate it as to be one resistor, and then they become in series with each other. So your main aim, aim here is, is to make this a series circuit. So what I do is, is I will circle this, see I need the parallel part, and I will rename it, and I'll rename it RP, which stands for resistance parallel. Don't stop until you have made the new drawing. So if you don't make the new drawing, you are going to get confused. So I'm going to make a new drawing of resistor 1, and my resistor parallel. And basically all I'm doing is I'm just making the drawing so I don't get confused with it. So I still got R1, it's 5 ohms. Now remember this is R parallel because it represents R2 and R3 and this is a part that I now first need to calculate. So we know that when they are in parallel we know that it's the 1 over it's the formula that I'm going to select. So I'm going to go 1 over resistance parallel. So RP, because remember I'm not looking at this one yet. I'm looking at this. And I want to get the value for these two together. So I go 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. So in my calculator, I will go 1 over the 10 plus 1 over 7.5. Remember in the calculator, I'm going to look for the x minus 1, which does the 1 over. So I go 10, 1 over, plus 7.5, 1 over, which will give me a value of 0 0.233 reoccurring. But I need to do something with it because at the moment I'm looking at RP. 1 over RP. I want RP by itself. Now again, I can 
flip it over. So I'm going, the R goes to the top, and then here I will put 1 over 0 0.23. Because underneath this is really a 1, if we look at mathematics. And when I flip them over, this one that was here now sits at the bottom. Doesn't matter what value you got, if I got 10, divide by 1 stays 10. But when it, the 1 is at the top, it makes a difference. So we're going to hit that x minus 1 again. Remember the x minus 1 does this for me. I get my answer and I get a value of 4.29 ohms. Now remember, I can check my answer to make sure if it's right by looking at the values. So resistance parallel I got is 4.29. In my parallel circuit, the 7.5 ohms is the smallest. So the rule is that the total for the parallel needs to be less than the smallest resistor, which in this case it is. So we can see that it's 4.29 ohms. Right, now from here I can now calculate the total. Because remember now I'm going to forget about this drawing and I'm going to work with this one all the time. Now it's a series circuit. Now remember in a series circuit it's the total current equals resistor 1 plus the other resistor, in this case it's RP. So I go R1 plus resistor parallel, so it's 5 plus 4.29, uh, so that's 9.29 ohms. So there's my total current at the moment, uh, so total resistance at 9.29. <coughs> So the next thing I'm going to do, still I'm looking at just this drawing, I want to now calculate the total current. So total current, I total. And we remember from the series circuit that the total current is, is only one path for the current to flow. So that means that I1 and I parallel will also be the same. So let's calculate I total. So I is V over R voltage divided by resistance, but I'm working with the total values, so therefore voltage total is 200, total resistance is 9.29, in my calculator, oh, my calculator is 200 divided by 9.29, gives me a total current of 21.29. 5.3 amps. So now I have the total current for this circuit. Now usually they want to know what the current will be in resistor 2 and 3 because remember this 21.53 will go through resistor 1 and then it will split but I can't calculate it yet because I don't have the voltage for this. We need to understand that there will be a voltage drop over this resistor and there will be a voltage drop over this, these two, which if I calculate, if I add this voltage and this voltage together, I should have 200 volts. So we can't calculate yet. So we now still going to focus on this drawing because the whole